Hey y'all, it's me, Atomic Fire Penguin, and welcome back to the Gaming Reactor. And I am back up and running thanks to my partner. She is great. She helped me set this up <coughs> with my new recording software. Um, so let's get started. Um, and thank you for being so patient and waiting. <laughs> I gave you a couple videos, they were vlogs explaining why this happened or why I haven't been able to put up content. But uh, thanks guys for being so patient. Now, what was that? Wait for it. I'm playing a new game for you guys. It is Fran Bo. Now, I have not watched anyone play this. I have, because I don't want any spoilers, I wanted to play this for a while. And I promise you guys I will get back to Silent Hill and I will get back to Fallout. Um, but until then, cause, well, I'll get back to Fallout and Silent Hill. I just don't feel like playing a... Uh, grindy walk around everywhere RPG. Um, so without further ado, let's play Frambo. Everything's fine. It feels like heaven. Are your eyeballs in heaven? Cause you have none. I see my parents. They look happy. They have a present for me. I wonder. I wonder how long they're gonna be happy for. <laughs> it's a cat! So sweet and pretty. Deep as the dark as the deepest night I can read. <laughs> it's Mr. Midnight! My best friend. My only friend. Oh, that's kind of sad. <laughs> but, hi, we're having dinner. I see Aunt Grace too. Well, there she is right there. I see her. I really like her a lot. It's Friday. My parents are going out. Date night. Bye-bye. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. Well, I would hope so. But you're having so much fun. If she didn't take very good care of you, I don't know why your parents would leave you with her. <laughs> It's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. <clears throat> but something feels real bad. Uh, hi. <laughs> A strange creature outside my window. Um, I don't like it. It scares me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> Suddenly I hear something. <sighs> it's mom screaming. That's not what screaming sounds like. I want to know what's wrong. Then go find out. <laughs> the light shines bright from my parents' room. I go closer. And closer. Closer! Um... Mom? Dad? Um... You might want to get that looked at. Oh, ma, no, no, no. Mommy, daddy. Um, a little. F yeah. Um, it's just paint. It'll come out. Just, or even better, just fix it. Please follow my voice. I'd rather not. On the count of three, we'll wake up. One. Two. Three. Friend, how do you feel? <coughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 
Hmm. I feel like dying. I mean, you just reminded her of her parents were killed. <laughs> I feel like dying. I don't understand why you make me do this. Try to calm down. This is part of your recovery. My parents are dead. How are you gonna... Recovery? Don't you get it? My parents are dead. Oh, poor thing. Everything will get better, I promise. I don't trust this guy. Better? Let me go. That would be better. You should not tell me how to do my job. You shouldn't tell me to calm down after I... Told me my, my parents were dead. But now I have something for you, friend. Oh, really? <laughs> she probably like, oh, really? <clears throat> See the desk? That li There's a little package for you. I'm guessing that's it. I know that's it. <clears throat> it's from Aunt Grace. Take it. <sighs> this was my mother's purse. Open it. There's something inside. Is there? Let's examine it. <coughs> oh, it's the tutorial letter. Dear friend, here's your purse. Oh, wait. Dearest friend, here is the purse you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remember that you liked to examine objects and combine them with other things. So I hope you will always keep this purse and give it... So I hope you'll always keep this purse and give it and all the other things you find a good use. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love ain't grace. Okay. So, she's worried about you. Then why did she stick me here? <laughs> I'm worried too. Because I'm not crazy and still here. <sighs> Stop it. You're out of control, young lady. I don't like you. I really don't like you. I'm so tired of all this. Can I leave now? I want to leave you. I think you guys want to leave too. Let's just leave. Can I go to my Can I go to my room now? Yeah, she can leave. But before you do, it's time for you to medicine. No, more medicine. I'm gonna try any more. It's called duotine, and it'll make you feel very relaxed. Nurse, you're ready. <laughs> I'm not ready. Are you guys ready? I'm. Anything new today, Dr. Darren? Nothing, actually. Same visions as before. Oh, I see. How often does he make us remember this? I mean, like... Here, friend. Take your medicine. I mean, how... Uh, I don't feel good. Uh, you might wanna, yeah, I wanna clean up a little bit. <coughs> no, take her back to her room. I didn't want to take him in the first place. Beware, Frat Bo. That's my creepy voice. If you leave this house of madness, I will hunt you down. Catch you. And bring you back to insanity. Yeah, I'd cry blood in that situation too. Fran, wake up. The medicine will help you escape. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. I love you. Chapter one, my sober day.
we made it to chapter one. That's a pretty big. <clears throat> Achievement there? That's not the right word. That's not the word I was looking for. You get out of here. Then get up. Case 25062009150000. Fram Bo Dagenhart, age 10. Gender female. History of the patient was found near the Oswald Asylum. Showing signs of psychosis. The brow. <laughs> the bow. <laughs> Darren Hart family tragedy. Details omitted. Treatment. Dr. Marcel Darren has tried different medications and all have been cancelled because of side effects. Okay. Get your nose. I will get it. Uh, then he will. You happy clown? Can you make me laugh? That clown is creepy. I'm having a hard time laughing again. And you're talking to a baby. I'll get your nose. I will get it. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully this won't fall on my head while I'm sleeping. Well, yeah, it's stuck into brick. That I'm pretty sure isn't. Hopefully this. Won't. Okay. I mean, brick is a very sturdy to put stuff in to begin with, but... Red and tiny, you're hiding from me. I hate the monster. It hates you too. I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he's afraid. He told me that the medicine would show me where he is. Yeah. He told us to... What's this? Oh sweet, sweet melody. One more time. La la la. It's the same as before. Huh. Hey. Oh, holy moly, something fell. A handy hook. I'll save it to play pirate later. Yes, let's play pirate later. Okay, we know what that is. Tower defense, we have a crazy person for you called Fran. The defense tower? Uh, I guess this is my way out. Um, I don't think you're gonna get out by the way. <laughs> Unless you're really sneaky. Let's try to get old lady here. Oh, Fran, good, you're awake. How long was I asleep? Three days, maybe. It's a long time to be sleeping. But I guess... Was the medicine that made me sleepy? Probably. <laughs> I don't want to take it in the first place. <laughs> something happened. I did something. Nurse lady, I did something. <laughs> See you nothing but trouble. What is it? I broke the curtains. <laughs> Let's be honest. I don't get sad and I accidentally broke the curtains. Pfft, accidentally. I have to fix this. Fix follow me. I don't want to. Don't tell me what to do. You can't tell me what to do. But I'll follow you anyway, because I have to go back this way. Something's missing. Have you seen the hook that holds the curtains up? I don't know what a hook is. What's a hook? Uh, what's a hook? Don't look at me. I have to go fix something. I have to go get. S I would have to. Okay, you can read this. I am having a hard time wording today. Tonight, whatever. You little girl. You're very absurd. I figured I might be able to. Oh, 
I can still walk around and see what's on the other side. Mr. Teddy. Okay. I exhausted those options pretty quickly. I used to have a blue dress like yours. I can't play with you now. I'm on a very secret mission. Yeah, to play with this horse. Oh, Miss Wooden Mr. Horse. Back and forth. The trip of our lives. Yee haw. Okay. Hello, Phil. Hello. Be nice to this kid. How are you? Everyone says I'm sick. They're just stupid. They always say that. Are you leaving tonight? If you're happy. The only thing I know is the office is the key. There's a key inside? Is there a key inside the office? I saw the doctor write a secret code. A secret code. To open the yellow door. He doesn't want me to tell you. Who's he? Who? Him. All doors are closed. You're my prisoner. You are a prisoner of my games. And no one will help you escape. Leave me alone, I hate you. Guys. I think we found the portal to hell. It's in this room. Mommy, Daddy, I need you so much right now. No, I won't let that monster stop me. We're determined. We're determined, guys. We can do this. We can get out of this place. We can get out of poor hell. Okay. One, two, one. One, four, five. Five, three, six. Fillmore Bornstone. Bornstone? Born? Whatever. Age eight. Gender male. History. The patient came to Oswald Asylum with his mother, Rachel Bornstone. 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 The boy. The boy has developed paranoia. The. The boy has developed paranoid behavior. Paranoia not yet diagnosed. Treatment. Daily treatment with Dr. Marcel Darren. Darren. We have not achieved the patient's trust and he refuses to be questioned. Documented April 6th, 1944. Okay, so we know about this kid. So if I sit down, I will eventually get up, so what's the point? Of course it's odd. So let's open this. Oh, you. Ooh. Picture. Let's look at it. That cat looks like an alien. Oh, my dear family. I've got this one, my life. And. Ooh. Take the bow off of it. <laughs> I word. Okay. My hair clip. I should give it a good use. I don't know what to use it for, but um, okay. Let's go over here. I 
Gladys Harrow. That's what her last name is going to be. I don't care. Fran Bo Darenhart. The patient has been sleeping almost all the time. She only wakes up to drink water, but I don't think she remembers that. After drinking, she goes back to sleep again. She goes to sleep again. She hasn't been social for three days now. Some kids have come around and asked about her and when she would be come out and play. <sighs> okay. So, 1A, 2B, C, 3, 4D, 5E, 7, 6F, 7G, 8H, 9I. Okay, cool. Violent trauma can have a great impact on children. Today, changing their normal lives. Totally changing their normal lives. For example, children made... For example, children damaged by trauma can have mild to severe defects in some abilities, such as trusting people near them, saying the world is a safe place, making decisions, etc. Because of these... Because of these effects, some traumas can lead to several symptoms of major mental illness. For example, not trusting other people or not feeling safe in the world. This can be interpreted as paranoia. And this is a diagram of the brain. Let me see, traumas. <laughs> Trauma is a word the doctor loves to say. <laughs> that brain looks like a turtle. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, whatever. Um, okay, we'll use also those options. Ew, I don't want to. I don't know why I don't, I don't want to know what is so you about that. This is where medicine is. It might be. Uh, why is there a gun in here? I mean, why would the nurse be packing heat? <laughs> I'll leave it as it was. Yeah, I have a. F I don't think that's a good idea, but I wouldn't trust a ten-year-old gun. Any patches to cure wounds? Yes, of course. No. Okay, let's look out here. Ah, oh, the playground. Good night, trees and moon. I'm pretty sure the playground isn't a good escape route. Probably not. Unless you get a big enough rock, throw it on the seesaw. I should probably check. Excuse me, that box. Uh, not so easy to see through this. Is that the playground? Yes, it is. Maybe somebody already tried jumping through this window. I guess we'll never know. I mean, that would make sense. That's why it's boarded up. But anyway, I digress. My pills are inside. I know, and I have to crack the code. Okay. Four. The pills. Kitty told me these would help me. Um, hi, oh crap, <laughs> okay, um, um, S 
so yeah that um that happened uh why are you holding my head oh is that my head yes yes it is my head back please yeah <laughs> just go away weird creatures oh, I'm about <laughs> holy shit oh he's no <laughs> I don't think Bunny's sleeping. <laughs> Bunny, wake up. Um, please, Bunny, just a home. Mm -hmm. Please, Bunny, just. <sighs> Where did the clown go? <laughs> He's not around here. Oh my god, me too. <laughs> okay, so, um. Let's just leave it here for now. Um, thank you so much, guys, for joining me. Thank you so much for your patience. Um, and thank you to my new subscribers. If you like what you see, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, and sub. Don't forget that. That's important. <laughs> And as always, I appreciate you. Y'all are great. And as always. <laughs>